While visiting Atlanta with my two friends, I went into Cineholic and everything looked and smelled so amazing that we got overwhelmed by the menu and needed someone to break it down for us. So here's how it went. So we get three kinds. We get number one is I'm gonna order something. I don't care what it tastes like. I don't care what's on it. Mm -hmm. I want a thing. Let me try it. Number two is let me try like one frosting type. I know what I want. Boom. I don't really care what's on the roll. Number three is people like y'all. You take your time. You deliver it. Like we like that. Dude, I'm exactly like y'all. After staring at the menu for a little while longer, Alexis was brave enough to start with their Dole Whip. Reactions. What's that? Tell us. What's tell what? us about the Dole Whip. Watermelon and is ice cream. Yeah. What is that? Turn. It's like sorbet. Yes. So after seeing her reaction, I had to try it for myself. It's like Starburst at the end. It's crazy. Okay. Look back at the menu and got more overwhelmed. So part two of the breakdown. Six? So we don't offer those here. Oh. However, at the Edgewood establishment, they do offer. Oh. That guy actually runs that. So. Hi, that guy. Sorry, put you on the spot. But, right. Tell us what's going on in here. Okay, so your apple pecan. Uh huh. Your strawberries with pecans. Okay. Then we yeah. have your chai slash coffee with almonds and chocolate chips. Beautiful. And then we have the chocolate and strawberry shortcake. Wonderful. What was your name and the gentleman who helped us? My name is Leanna. I'm the manager here in Daniel. Okay, y'all. Amazing. They're amazing. All right, y'all. Trying on makeup, so ignore what you see. We're going to get into this live review. This is the chai. What did I get? Chai, coffee, almond, chocolate chip. Um, it's decadent. <laughs> um, it is. It's not giving cinnamon roll energy, but for a pastry, it is. It is very good. I'll try the other one and let y'all know. All right, y'all, I'm back with the strawberry cinnamon roll. And I've learned from the first one that if I wanna get this true cinnamon roll essence, I need to start in the middle. So, one moment. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's what we're getting into. All right, I'm just gonna pluck right from the center. So that way I can get the gooey cinnamon quality. Now that is a cinnamon roll. Okay. Stay tuned where I give it the rating. We have to see if it has a Sister Girl Tuesday pop. All right, y'all. It's time to see if Cineholic gets that Sister Girl Tuesday pop. So we're talking about presentation and plating. We're talking about optics and we're talking about price and punch. So I'm gonna give full points for presentation and plating. So when you walk in, they have a nice display that shows the featured or the special roles for that season, that time, um, and they're all beautiful. Also the pictures in the place, like they've got nice blow ups on the wall, also on the main menu. And then I'm gonna talk about the plating, the way that they put it in the box for us. They get full points for that. They didn't make us carry all those tiny plastic containers with the various roles. So presentation and plating, they get full points optics so the restaurant or the store is really cute but I'm also going to include my interactions with the staff so the two people that were helping us they were amazing even the other patrons that came into the establishment they were just like yeah this is a place y'all need to be they gave us their honest opinions they even helped us to decide what we were going to get in the end so optics full points and now we're going to talk about price so I wouldn't say that the pricing is really good I think that you've got to remember that these are dairy free these are vegan desserts which sometimes means that the price can be heightened but honestly for one of their if you're getting the old school roll that's five dollars I think before tax and then if you're getting one of their signature rolls those come up to under seven dollars before tax and then if you decide to do the build your own, which is one of the ones I did, it's like, it's I think $5 or so for the base. And then as you add the icing and the various toppings, it goes up like 50 cents or something like that. So price really good. I was impressed. Um, the other thing is punch. This is the part that you guys all wanna know about. This is where we talk about what it tastes like. We talk about the texture. We talk about the smell. And so I'm gonna just start by saying that there was a little user error. I'll go ahead and take that fault. 
I should have heated up the roll since I wasn't gonna eat it fresh a little bit more when I was um, sampling the first one to get that full experience and get the ooey gooey like center that comes with the traditional cinnamon roll. Also, I will say that my first review was of the cinnamon roll that I built on my own. So there is something to be said about their signature rolls, which was the strawberry one that you saw at the end that just, it hit different. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, great on the curve for that part. So overall, I'm gonna say that the punch is also top tier. So we've gone through what it means to get that Sister Girl Tuesday pop and Cineholic, you got it. So if you guys wanna see more reviews, be sure to connect with me in the comment section below. And you already know, before you go, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.